car and there's already a sweet Michael Bolton shirt in this shop, so I already can tell there's gonna be some great shopping here. Welcome to Portsmouth, New Hampshire. This is our first time here, but it's technically not my first time here. I got a little glimpse of this place a couple weeks ago. Uh, my friend flew out from uh, Portland to, over to Boston, and we took a little mini road trip through New Hampshire, a tiny bit of Maine, and then uh, Vermont. And I absolutely fell in love with this town. We just spent the day in Salem, and there's just such a different vibe here. It actually feels more historic, if that makes sense. I feel like a lot of Salem is a lot of new construction, which I wasn't expecting. And this is just so historic, and I just, it feels like a little old English port. I love it. So we're gonna spend the day here, hanging out taking in all the sights. I'm gonna show you why I love this town. And also I'm gonna experience it more because we are barely here. <laughs> <laughs> you love it, but you're barely here. Uh, yeah, but I loved the vibe from the moment I got here. All right. It's, it's fair, right? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> time it is. Time for some food. It's okay. food time. Food <laughs> <It's> food time. time. <laughs> we came to this cute little cafe called Popovers on the Square and I'm excited because I'm gonna eat my very first popover that I never made myself. Um, I actually used to make popovers. They were like one of the first recipes I ever learned to bake when I was a kid out of a Betty Crocker cookbook and they were kind of like a fail-proof easy recipe and I liked them. I've never actually had one but they are a very New England thing. They're, they're popular here in New England and they date back to like the 1850s. So and, and I got an elevated one. It's like a sandwich. Like normally you have them as like a side, like a roll or something. Um, but they, they turned it into a sandwich, and I'm excited to try it. Mmm. That's a good... That's a good egg and cheese sandwich. Yeah, it's like, almost like, like having it on a croissant, but like, a little different, a little like, crustier. I like it. Meanwhile, we did not get a very New England thing. <laughs> no, I did not. I got a bomb meat. It just sounded good. Mm -hmm. That is a pretty tasty bomb meat sandwich. Yeah. I'm satisfied. Kevin says, pop over for me, please. Pop over for me, please. When Jeremy came out and told me he ordered a bon me, I was like, really? We came to a cute New England bakery and you got a bon me. But it was actually really good. The bread was like super soft and perfect. And it was so juicy and just had really good flavor. It was just as good as my popover sandwich, if not better. So. You did all right, Jeremy, you did all right. I think so. <laughs> We just went to both Provincetown and Salem, two towns that had great shops, all kinds of cool stuff you can buy. But man, Portsmouth has really neat shopping too. Like there's all kinds of like cute nautical things, little boutiques, like there's this card shop here that has all kinds of like handmade cards and gifts. Like it's just, it's great. We're doing a lot of window shopping today and a lot of the places don't allow filming inside. But it's definitely worth coming here uh, for, for the shopping. There's a lot of cute stuff. We 
keep seeing these black dog stores in like every cute little town we visit. And it seems like it's becoming a tradition that everyone, someone in every town has to make a comment about how we have a black dog in front of the black dog. Yep, it's true. <laughs> it is true, isn't it? Yeah. There's this cute little nook down here by the water. It's nice. It's a nice view. Yeah. It is nice. This is such a cute town. It's a pretty cute town. This town actually dates back to, I think, 1623 when it was established as a fishing settlement. I don't know. We're from the West Coast. We don't see stuff that's this old over there. Like, this is amazing that it's like, and, and it feels so authentic to like even the 1800s. There are a lot of uh, historic buildings in and around the town. Um, I think we parked over by uh, a house that was once occupied by two different signers of the Declaration of Independence. And there's also this cute little like museum area. Um, back home, my hometown has a place called Fort Vancouver that's kind of like a a museum now but it was made out of a historic fort and it feels very much like that like there's people that dress in costumes and things like that unfortunately it's not pet friendly during the day um, when it's in operation so we can't do that but it looks it looks like a really neat experience um, so we'll have to we'll have to come back we always say that we got to come back but we do we have to come back <laughs> this really neat old brick house and it turns out this is the Warner house it dates back to 1716 and is the earliest urban brick house in all of New England so that's pretty neat it's lovely it's so pretty wow it looks beautiful inside <laughs> is this gorgeous park right on the river. It's over 10 acres, but just from like the little glimpse that I went in and saw, it is beautiful. There are fantastic views of the water. You have a view of, I think it's called the Memorial Bridge. There's this little area where people have chained locks to the fence. There's a little like boardwalk you can go out on. You can see Maine. It's really lovely. It's too bad that she can't go in because we could have explored so much more of it, but. Um, but th that's okay. Sometimes things are dog friendly. It's my bad for assuming that a park would allow you, isn't it? Who wouldn't love this little ball of neuroses? Yeah, that's rude that they won't let you in. <laughs> How do you like the town? This is your first first time here. It's cute. It's really cute, right? Yeah. It's all cute and historical. And on a river, like it's it's a trifecta of greatness. <laughs> a trifecta. <laughs> it's cute. It's historical, it's on the river. It's like the cutest trifecta of a town. It's a trifecta. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Jeremy and I have been tracking the states that we've been to recently. We've crossed quite a few new states off. Today is a first for Jeremy, and uh, it was a first for me a couple weeks ago, so I'm, I'm counting it as a first for me too. And now we are heading to Maine. So. We do actually have something really big planned when we come back through New Hampshire, coming back from Maine. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have the uh, the bell notification so you, you get notified when we post new videos, which is usually Sundays. And here we are, we're, we're off to Maine. So let's go. Yay, Maine, I'm so excited. This is like the the ultimate goal of, of the trip we've taken the last few months was like our goal was to get to Maine. 
And now we're about to go to Maine, so see you later, cute Portsmouth. It's time for Maine. Are you ready for Maine? I think I'm ready. I am ready. Are you mainly just ready? Mainly just ready to eat some lobsters? No? I don't know. <laughs> I'm mainly just ready to continue my awkwardness. <laughs> That's the face of confirmation. Yes. <laughs> yes. here in Portsmouth are like in on the secret and the secret is that this is a really cool town that most of America doesn't even know about and now now we're in on the secret too you know about it too you should come to Portsmouth